Why is everyone better than they pretend to be? <laughs>
Why is everyone better than they pretend to be? of the overthinking. Uh, he did the right move. He did the right move. He wanted to go somewhere else. That's why you never what? <laughs> never give up. That's never right. surrender. That's right. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, you know, the game was looking a little bleak for me. A little bleak, a little bleak. A little bleak, but I've been in bleak before. Uh, uh, oh my God. Hey guys, Brian here, and the great Carlini does it again. Never give up, never surrender. And the crazy thing is, even if Chris didn't move here, I mean, oh, what a heartbreaker, right? Arabian mate. Anytime you have a rook and a knight on your king, just try to avoid the corners. But easy when you're the, you know, when you're the one watching. It's hard when you're the one playing. But I, I want to point out, even though he doesn't go in the corner, it's still a draw because of this knight and and rook setup here. You can just continue to check, and of course, king doesn't want to go in the corner. So that's what's crazy about this. Like Carl manages down the exchange, you know. These pawns are going to queen, but he manages to figure out a way to at least draw or if you go in the corner and get the mate. Oh, that is a, that is a tough one. Heart goes out to Chris, man. <laughs> Everyone can relate to that situation that's happened to us all. And um, I mean, when you play Carl, stuff like that tends to happen probability-wise. It increases. But again, you know, never give up, never surrender. That's why you do it. Beautifully done, Carl. If you guys want to get him coffee for that sweet, sweet, never give up, never surrender, Arabian mate. His link is in the video description. Let's figure out how Chris could have put the game away, right? I mean, Chris doing a great job here. Um, everything even, and then he gets the um, the fork, right? But let's go over how Carl could have responded. So in the game, F takes his plate. Let's go move back. Let's actually go a couple moves back. So um, Bishop is hanging, and now counterattack. Take, and then in the game, F takes his plate. Will be another move for white here. I'm sorry, for black, for black. Yes, D takes, and this could be one continuation. And the game is uh, White's a little bit ahead at 1.3, but we saw what happened. Chris with a nice fork here in control of this game. How do you put this game away? And I think the theme for this game is when you're ahead, push the pedal to the metal, accelerate, you know? So in the game, G3 is played. Let's go move back. Will be another move for White here. Yes, be on the offensive. Dictate the game. Rook takes check. And now check again. You can bring in the other rook, target here, and king h6, rook takes. And now, um, you know, let's say black does rook takes here, and now you're just going to walk the king over for the skewer, and you're going to win there. But going back here, let's say, okay, that's going to happen. Let me get the knight out of the way. Same thing in the sense that, you know, you walk the king over, but now you just force the exchange or, or you know, or lose the knight, what are you going to do? And white is winning here at 8.9. But the key was to keep pushing the accelerator pedal. But that is super, super hard when you're the one playing, especially against Carl, man. He voodoos you somehow, and, and things like this happen. Beautifully done, Carl. Great fight, Chris. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game. Comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.